Hello, thank you for clicking on the video and welcome to The Hospital. This is another indie horror game from itch.io. I know nothing about this game except that you have to uncover a dark, terrible secret inside of this hospital. At least that's all the description said for the game. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Hit new game. Okay, woo, best experience with headphones. Yeah, you say that now. My ears are not thanking me right now. It's not, eh. Just the brightness bar above until you can barely see the word crux on the door. You see, now this is where it gets a little screwy because I have lights coming into my face and it makes it very hard to see stuff already in the dark. Okay, we're good. What the hell? Oh no. Am I on a respirator? When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who only get mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. They did mention in this that there are references to the COVID outbreak. So there are some similarities to that. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in the hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. The breathing in my ear is so bad. It's a pandemonium. It's a pandemonium out there. It's a pan- no, it's pandemonium out there. The A doesn't need to be there. It's pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. Eh, you're not wrong. That turned into a lot of people. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and wink all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to incubate me. If my condition got worse, if I don't make it, it would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or in heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Okay. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. Am I gonna flatline? I really hope not. What? What? I've miraculously recovered. I'm up? Yeah, good question. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Hint, walk around using WA. <laughs> okay, look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. Okay, got it. Game saves automatically. You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Okay, cool. So if it crashes, I can just come back. Okay. Chairs, hospital bed. Yeah, I don't know how I'm walking around, but I seem to have made a miraculous recovery. I'm going to have to turn this audio down for the music because this is like so loud though. My ears are, again, not thanking me for this. That's okay. Medical device. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. Yeah, you know what? I don't blame him or them for thinking this way because there's a lot of things. You look at the stuff about how hospitals are all set up and yeah, they're there to keep you alive, but a lot of it just looks so damn depressing. Chill with the horn from Inception, please. My bed. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off of it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if the room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Oh no. Oh no. Did I die? Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Oh my god, that's terrifying. All the TV ever played was the news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll and the crashing economy. I told the nurse to turn it off and take the remote away, watching TV as I whiled away those endless hours. Struggling to breathe only made everything seem worse. Oh my god. Bathroom door appears to be locked. Okay. Oh man. 
God damn it already that person out there Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on It wasn't even scary. They just walked past the door. It was the noise that got me Where is everybody when I checked in here? These corridors were full of activity all day and night filled with nurses and doctors and patients Yeah, man, this is like this is heavy COVID vibes about when the pandemic hit and that is like Oh my god, that's terrifying. I was lucky enough to not to not catch it. But I heard about what was happening in the hospitals, and that was just God, that was horrible. Let's see here. Door. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs besides these doors. Cardiology. Obst obst obstetrics? Radiology, etc. I think I said that last one wrong. Why are the windows opaque? I can't see anything through them. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh man, I think I died. I'm, I'm calling it right now. I think I straight up died. Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers in this door. I'm pretty sure I've seen room numbers when I checked in. Nurses station. When I checked in here struggling to breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind the desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. I think... I don't know which way to go, and it takes a while to get somewhere. I'll check this door, and then we'll head toward the green exit door. Sealed, just like the others. Okay. There's no sprint button. I like to be able to run, <laughs> and I can't run. Dear God. Where are my feet? No luck. Really? Didn't these doors open out of the lobby with the elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Would you stop? God damn it. Hello? Hey, miss, can you please stop scaring the hell out of me? Can you just quit, please? Oh, this is not gonna be good. Open the door. Okay, I'm gonna force myself to not be a chicken, not close my eyes. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Dude, this is... Oh my god, I already... I already have... Nah, I wouldn't say a fear of hospitals. What? Someone on the other side of this door? I don't have a fear of hospitals, I just find them unsettling, and this is just way worse. Oh! This looks lovely. This room looks just like the one I was in. But it's a mess. There's blood all over the bed. Or... I hope that's blood. How awful. Some kind of stain. Guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. Stop it! That figure. So say, don't you jump scare me twice. The sound came from out there. Figure I saw on the TV. It reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. I could be in, co in a coma, trying to work my way out, but if this is what it's like being in a coma, I hope to God I never end up in one. <laughs> you know what? A lot of this wouldn't be that scary if I just ran in the corner and saw the figure. But, it keeps putting those, those giant, th th those loud noises in my ears. And that's what's scaring the crap out of me. It keeps making me jump and it's starting to, starting to piss me off. Oh, that door's open. Oh, there's a dead person in there, isn't there? 
Broski? You okay, Broski? <laughs> it's locked. Who shut the door? Was that a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. It's been disturbing, my man. Or woman. Person. Whoever I'm playing as. I can't tell if I'm a male or a female. Whoever you are. This is bad. <laughs> is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw... Aha! That one didn't scare me that time. Aha! It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare. Rather in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? I wonder who this is. Sorry, I, my monitor for my camera is over here and I realized that my door is open. Okay. I forgot to shut my door. What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged, this looks like my apartment. Where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. What in the hell? <sighs> oh, hi! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, Nia, is that you? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. I'll ask, is that you? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life and done things differently? And at what cost? Uh... Well, I don't know what you could or couldn't have done, so... I'm sorry. Only cold silence. What does she want? Woo! Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? Sweet... Mother Mary. Nia, I remember this picture. We had it taken out by the beach. I just lost whatever the hell that was. She was 24. By then she'd already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession, my whereabouts, self-harm. Tried to get her help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to us both, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And I finally woke up one night to find her standing over my bed staring at me. Her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. Oh, and when I saw what she was holding in her hand... What? Okay, so she just, she went cuckoo, she was obsessed with you. And then... Probably tried to kill you? I swear, that noise. What is this place? Alright, well, we're gonna proceed forward. This is the hospital, but run down and broken. That's what this is. We're just gonna creep along. <laughs> Hello, corpse. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench is terrible. I should move on. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Okay. Moving on. Ten bucks says that body stands up behind me. Doesn't budge. Here we go. Wait for it. 
No? Oh. Looks like I owe someone 10 bucks. I owe myself 10 bucks! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, this is much worse. This is great. I'm not even bothering. I ain't looking. Nope. They're moving and I ain't looking. Nope, no, no, I ain't turning around. Screw you. I'm going. Bye. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, mm. <laughs> All right. Prince, you still back there? My dog is back there just dead asleep. I'm over here having like a horrific nightmare and my dog is asleep. Hi, how are you? On that night four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it, held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, mental hospital. And a week later, I got a terrible call. Cool. She committed suicide. Oh! I should have seen that coming. Jesus. Nia, oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note. Your last words. <laughs> what do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of the note you left. The last words you ever wrote. Was the note you will join me soon? Because I'm getting the sense that's what's going to happen. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. Close enough. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Oh dear. Ooh. Okay, that didn't really scare me so much as it blew out my eardrums. Jeez Louise. Oh. I. I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Good question. Nia? Bet I was lying on fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well or am I still trapped in this nightmare? I don't know, man. Woman. Person. I don't know what you are. Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital, smiling faces, telling me I'm better and I can go home? I doubt it. Or are shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead, and this is my afterlife? These dread halls and tormented souls stalking me for all eternity. Eternity? Eternity. then okay there we go then you have it that is the hospital thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe if you want to i'll see you next time bye